Right then, hello and welcome to a little one-off of a small racing game called Barrow or Borrow. Um, I can only say this game is pretty much like a time trial sim arcade racer kind of thing. Um, there's not really much premise. Uh, once you win every single race, uh, there's not really much else to do. Uh, so yeah, it's more or less a time trial or hot lapper, really, uh, to see who is best of the best. But uh, I thought I'd do a little one-off on this because it is a short game anyway. And uh, yeah, we'll just get straight into it. This music, though, doesn't really suit the, uh, <laughs> the intro of the game in uh, any stretch. But yeah, you've got two game modes, arcade and time trial, and you only have four cars to choose from. You've got like a little taxi thing, a pickup, a uh, samba bus, and a little buggy. We're just going to stick with the little... Actually, no, we're going to pick the samba bus. Why not? Just to be a little bit different. Um, right, and validate. Uh, now, there are, well, it says 19 tracks to choose from, but there's not really. So you've got one, two, three. If you look at the counter at the top, track five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 17, 18, 19. So uh, 15 is missing. Uh, 15 and 16 are missing. Uh, funnily enough. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go through all the tracks, just see what they're like, and I'm only gonna do two laps on each, because again, this game is very, very, very short. Uh, just keep it on expert as well, I don't really care. So, uh, yeah. This is Barrow Barrow, however you wanna pronounce it. If you go off the circuit, your car does explode, which is actually quite funny. Uh, there's another one as well. There's actually two other Barrow Borrow games uh, that are out at the moment. You've got Barrow 2020, which is exactly so. I don't think there's anything new. I think it's exactly the same as this one. And Barrow F, or Borrow F, which is uh, a little formula car thing. You've got more than four cars on the grid as well. So I, I will do a one-off of that one as well, because I have got it recently. It was on sale for like 39 pence. Oh my god! <laughs> right on the line, and I bloody cocked up. Ah, oh, that's a pain in the arse. Oh, well, do you want to play again? Nah, not really. I just want to go on to the next track. Uh, keep the Samba bus. Track two, you have to keep changing the laps every single time as well. Nope, I didn't want to go next. I want to go to start. Two laps. So, track number two. And away we go. Now, each track does have its own little obstacles and little pits and stuff like that, and it's actually quite, you know, a fun... It's actually a really fun game. There's uh, no multiplayer. Oops, off I go. No multiplayer, so, again, it is more or less just time trials and an arcade against the AI, but, you know, it's still good fun, uh, especially for kids. Uh, it's not compatible with my controller. I have tried, but, um, you know, the same... Same controls that are basically defaulted for many uh, arcade racers, uh, WASD. And away you go. But yeah, it handles quite well. It's not uh, too sensitive or anything. So yeah, it's not too bad. Oh, can we actually get a victory? We're catching up very slowly. No, I don't think so. Come on, get back here. Can I... No. Uh, ah. Almost. Almost, but no cigar. Okay, back to the track selection. What have we got now? Track three. Uh, we'll keep it... Yeah, two laps. Why not? And away we go. You can turn in the air as well, which I've noticed. Oh, you little git. No, oh, come on. Now, there is uh, another game I spotted on Steam a while ago, which is a complete rip-off of this. And it's surprising that they actually managed to get the, the game onto Steam in the first place. No, off I go. But it's exactly the same game, 
The only difference is that they've got little caricatures on the side of the track. Like little mushrooms and stuff. They've made it for like a, a as a kid's game. But it's an absolute rip-off of this. The same with Drift 86, really. There's another one called Drift 64 or something. Or Drift 69. Which has ripped off Drift 86, but is using, like, chargers and stuff like that. Dodge chargers. And again, it's very surprising how these people manage to actually get these games on Steam without people thinking, Hold on there a minute, I've seen this somewhere before. Oh, I've messed up again. Oh, god damn it. Oh, I wasn't the only one that went off this time. He went off as well. Well, another fourth place. Not to worry. You don't really... Again, you don't actually get anything for uh, for winning. You just move on to the next circuit. Keep the Samba bus, please. Track four. Uh, we'll just do one lap on this one because this is quite a long circuit anyway. See if I can win with one lap. Off we go. Hey, we taking a lead. Engine sounds could be a little bit better. It does sound... Oh, no, off I go again. Bloody hell. Uh, it does sound like someone's um, vacuuming the room outside your door. But, no, this is, this is a fun little game to pass the time. This is one of those five-minute killers. If you're just bored, want something to do for five minutes, then, yeah, it's the type of game that will uh, suit you down to a T. And you're probably better at it than I am anyway, because I suck. But for a keyboard racer thing, yeah, it handles fairly well. No complaints. Right, next. Validate track five. Again, another one lap. Oh, it's night time this time. Yep, cars have headlights. Where you go. Oh, you son of a bitch. Down I go and uh, pop indeed. Yeah, sometimes your car doesn't respawn straight away or it doesn't. Oh, for God's sake, I've done it again. Or uh, it doesn't disappear straight away. So you're having to wait around. Oh, what am I doing? It's, it's, the night stages are a little bit difficult to see. It's sort of, uh, you need to put the brightness up on your monitor ten times just to uh, see where you're going, but... There's different weather effects as well. I think you've got fog and rain and this, that and the other. I don't really do anything to the handling. The car handles just the same. I couldn't even see where I was going then. Uh, the car handles exactly the same as it would do in the dry. Oh, a boost. Are we actually catching up to anyone? Are we uh, coming up to the end of the lap? Oh, not like that. I'm not. I've gone off again. Bloody hell. That's that's a bit annoying as well when, when you do get morphed back onto the circuit and you go through the scenery and you can't see what the hell you're doing. That is a bit of a pain, but oh well. Track six, again, just one lap. Just to get through these uh, thick and fast. And away we go. Oh, you little shit! Oh, for God's sake. Come on, respawn my car, damn it. Well, I led for, I think, a, th a fraction of a second. Oh, no, no, but yeah, sometimes when you go into the wall, it just sort of, like, blasts your car into another direction. 
But this is why I'm doing just a one-off on this game because, I mean, it doesn't really have much in the way of replay replayability unless you're going for fastest lap times or you're trying to get on the leaderboard, which some people might do. Uh, I've done it once or twice, just redone a race until I've uh, got the fastest lap, but... Yeah, apart from that, once you've done uh, all the circuits, there's not really much going back to, so... Oh well, and we finished bloody last again. Son of a bitch. Oh well. What are we on now? Track 7. Oh, and it's a night circuit. This is just a giant square as well. Oh no, it's not night, it's foggy. And away we go. Oh, you can- oh yeah, I forgot to mention, drafting does work on this game. So if I actually go behind another car... Oh, we'll get around this corner first. You'll hear the engine notes rise as you draft. There you go. See? Even little uh, elements like that. But the AI do draft off you as well, and then they crash you into the pissing wall. Because they're little shits. Oh, boost. Oh, I completely missed it. Come on, give me another boost. At least don't make me finish last again. I'm gonna finish last again. Bloody hell. Oh, oh well. Can't win them all. Uh, track 8, one lap again. Let's get underway. Oh, and I'm rolling backwards. Great. Off we go. Let's see if we can actually get a win this time. Not like that. Again? Ugh. Oh, great. It didn't warp my car back to the top. Thanks. Appreciate it, game. Oh, for goodness sake. Once you lose control of the car, it's very, very difficult to get it back on the straight and narrow again. But As frustrating and as short as this game is, it does have some element of charm. Which I can appreciate. It's unique, it's showing off some elements that haven't really been used before in little arcade racers, so you can give it that. Especially that it reuses some sections of the track. The tracks do evolve as you go along. And look, fourth place! Yeah, I haven't been in fourth before. Brilliant. Next, track nine. Getting through them. Oh, you can do 99 laps if you so desire. I don't. Art style is very minimalistic, which is always good. I think this game could actually run on a Nokia 3310 quite easy. I mean, I know I would have had problems if this game would chug on my system, but no, it actually does work, and there's the AI drafting me and pushing me into the wall like a little turd. Oh, the inevitable climb up the mountain. Get out of it. Oh, we're winning. Yeah, some of the sections of the track are very, very hard to read as well. Especially when you've got the blind crest, you don't know what's coming up next. But this is the same section of the first track that we raced on. So it reuses some of the uh, other circuits as well. Which is good. Gives it a little bit of variety. It's not so same old, same old, where you have like the same four tracks on rotation. And I can't believe it. I think we're actually going to win a single race. And we have. Bloody hell. There we go. We take a victory. One of one. Yay. Right, next. Next, please. Uh, track 10. So we've only got, what, five to go. Back to... We'll do two laps on this one because it's a very short one. Yeah, get the draft. Go into the wall. And die. 
but no, I would recommend uh, you giving this game a little go. It's, it's you know, it's not bad. It can give you uh, a few minutes of enjoyment. Let's catch up to these guys. Let's see if we can get two wins on the trot. That'll be uh, unbelievable. We're getting drafted though by the taxi, by it looks like. Yeah, he's drafting me sadly. Oh, you little git. Bugger off. This track was actually longer than I predict, uh, predicted it was going to be, so I uh, I should have just done one lap, but there you go, one lap from now on for every single circuit. Back to arcade, third place, yada yada yada, back down to one lap please, thank you. And off we go. Every single time that little taxi git. They've already gone on this circuit, part of the circuit already. Are you son of a bitch? Why? Every single time. Oh, God. Yeah, there we go again. Oh, I'm just going to explode. Bye. Uh, where am I going? Oh, for God's sake, I hate it when it does that. Right, if you're going to make a racing game, for God's sake, please don't have the camera morph through the entire circuit when it respawns your car. Ugh. Oh. Oh, I thought I would have got a cheap win then, but no. Ugh, bloody hell. Next. Track 12, one lap. And it's piddling down with rain again. Go. Right, get past you. Now the taxi, the troublesome taxi. The AI do purposefully spin you out. I have noticed. Which is good, it gives you a little bit of a battling element as well. It's a bit harder for you to spin them out though. Oh, he just spun himself out, okay. Cut the corner, no. Second place, uh, first of the losers. Bloody hell. Right, next. 13. Unlucky for some. Just one lap again. Night time. Go. Oh, where's the circuit going? There we go. Yeah, in all the time that I've actually played this game, on and off, you know, just get the achievements and the uh, trading cards, um, I never noticed until now the little uh, rear view mirror that you have. I never actually noticed that. Goodbye, world. My planet needs me. <sighs> well, I was leading. I bet that's the last bloody section of the track as well. It bloody is and all. Oh, it was a three-way heat for the end. Who actually did get the victory? Bloody hell, that was tight. Tighter than a duck's ass for first place, but there you go. Validate, track 14, please. One lap. Two. Uno. One. Go. Languages. Oh, that was nice. 360 no-scope, bitches. Come on. Oh, you little son of a bitch. I hate it. I bloody hate it. 
Oh, God damn it. That was actually a short lap. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, well, next. Track 17, we go from 14 to 17. Two more races to go after this, and then we'll be done. Off we go. Oh, give me the boost. The Cadbury's boost. Oh, bloody hell, that was lucky. No, it won't. Oh, goodbye. Oh, come on. Oh, nice, we actually got a good run through there. The taxi's right behind me, though, so he can sod off. Stay away from the summoner. Get out of it. Oh, you little... Ugh. I thought I would have got him then. Oh, you prick. Pop. Oh, not again. Oh, for God's sake. <sighs> Last. Again. Right. Two more to go. This sounds like something from Skyrim, this bit of music. Oh, like Dovahkin. Bloody hell. Off we go. Oh, where am I going? Oh, through the rocks, through the rocks, no. Oh, he's stuck there, that's fine. Oh, for God's sake. Sod off. Oh, God, pinballing. Yeah, once you start to pinball, you can't really get it back. You just have to just take a deep breath, calm the frig down, and try again. Where am I going? Where, where the hell does the road... Oh, God, up there. Ugh. Oh, no, I'm stuck underneath. Oh, come on. Oh, no. There we go. It bloody was the last section. I was going to... I was thinking now. I bet that was the last section as well. Bloody was and all. Oh, well. Right, our pain and torment will come to an end. The last race. And it's raining again. Let's go out with a bang and actually get a win, shall we? Or just get taken out. Thanks. Oh, got a third. No, I didn't. Bloody... Oh. oh, let's get in his draft. Nope. Oh my god, this game cheats like a son of a bitch. But then it is on expert difficulty, so there you go. And that was it. That is literally all you can do. You have a multiplayer mode on there, but it's only in arcade. Uh, I haven't tried it myself. Or you got, like I said, time trial. Choose your car. You've only got the four to choose from. You can't even change the color, which is annoying. Uh, but yeah, time trial is just on your own. Do a few laps around the track. See if you can get on the leaderboards. And that's pretty much it. So, uh, yeah, this was Barrow, or Barrow, however you want to pronounce it. And, uh, yeah, I will leave it here for now. So, thank you very much for watching, as always. And I'll be back uh, with another Barrow game at some point. Barrow F. And um, we'll try our, uh, try our luck with that one as well. So, uh, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.